Rainfall has returned water levels to normal on Lake Freeman, but a local conservation group is taking action to try and prevent the levels from falling again. News 18 Samantha Tiki reports on the task force dedicated to preventing another summer of low lake levels. After weeks of unusually low water levels, Lake Freeman is back to normal. But Schaefer and Freeman Lakes Environmental Conservation Corporation President John Koppelman says he doesn't think it's going to last. The water levels are normal, but we don't think this is going to be an ending problem. Koppelman says requirements issued by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service will continue to cause problems for Lake Freeman. We don't agree with the numbers they've come up with. We don't feel they're correct, and so that's why we're looking into coming up with a better solution. According to Koppelman, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service mandated NIPSCO to release more water from the Oakdale Dam to protect endangered mussels in the Tippecanoe River. But the conservation group says it will continue to lower Lake Freeman, especially in times of drought. Now the group has formed a task force to come up with a solution that will keep everyone satisfied. And we want to help and make it work for everybody, you know, the lake property owners and the mussels down below, endangered species. But we just don't think it's working that way right now. Lee Cruel is a member of that task force. He says they will bring in members in the fields of biological science, hydrology, and engineering to conduct research on the current plan. We are going to look very closely into the science behind uh, their determination that more water was needed in the lower river. Koppelman says the dam is typically regulated by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, also known as FERC. But in order to meet U.S. Fish and Wildlife requests, NIPSCO was granted a temporary variance, but it could become permanent. He says NIPSCO requested a permanent change in the operation protocol that will be presented at a FERC meeting in October. Koppelman says the task force plans to show its research and persuade Fish and Wildlife to reconsider its current regulation. Right now we feel it's kind of like a win-lose situation, but we want a win-win situation where we can keep the Lake level is good and still keep water at a natural run of the river rate down below Oakdale. If FERC grants the change, NIPSCO would continue to let more water from the dam. Cruel says it's a permanent solution that would create permanent problems. This means the lake is going to have continued severe drops. Uh, every time we come to drought or near drought conditions, the lake will go down and, and, and become unusable. Samantha Tiki, News 18.